So how many of you got a Glock? A lot of you. It's one of the most popular handguns in the world. And a lot of people are getting more and more interested in cans because they save the hearing, which I don't have anymore. So when you get a Glock, you know, a couple of things. The first thing is with a Glock is the trigger. The factory trigger is crap. It's, it's mushy. It's got a ton of take up and it has anything but a clean break. The next thing is, is your standard Glock is not going to come with a threaded barrel. So you got to do some upgrades. And what I'm going to cover here is the barrel upgrades. I already did a trigger review and a trigger job. And I kind of actually already started this. I've got several different barrels from different companies and I had started doing these all individually. And I got outside yesterday and I was shooting and I decided to just, to just put them all together. So let's do a quick review of threaded aftermarket barrels for a Glock. Now they could be threaded or unthreaded if you're just looking for a higher quality or a match grade barrel. The first one, and it's already in here, this is a TK um, Tactical Kinetics. And I found this on Brownells, it was like 109 bucks. They had it on sale. They claim that it improves accuracy from 10 to 20%. Well, that sounds pretty good. Um, so that's the TK. Then of course you have the Glock factory barrel, which we're gonna compare to. Then I have an Alpha Wolf, okay, from Lone Wolf. Another match grade, fluted, threaded, supposed to be a really high quality barrel. And then I've got another one I did a review on a while back from Aim Surplus. It's a stainless steel, again, threaded barrel because that's what I was needing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take all these barrels and I'm gonna compare them all. I'm going to shoot three different kinds of ammo. I've got the Glock sighted in and we're going to do this at 50 yards. This is going to really push the limits of shooting with a pistol. I did a review on this AIM surplus one. I did it up close in the winter. It was cold. It seemed to perform pretty well. Um, things change when we get out to 50 yards. So I'm going to sandbag and test all these at 50 yards. Let's get outside and see how all these barrels stack up against one another. Real quick here, I'm all done. I'm doing some editing and I found out I screwed up royally, which you know happens all the time. It is not the Federal Black Pack. And I'm not gonna go back and redo the whole video. It is Blazer Brass Black Pack, nine mil Luger, 115 grain full metal jacket. So anyway, every time that I'm talking about Federal, I'm talking about the Blazer Brass Black Pack. Okay, so I'm sighting in my buddy's Glock. He got a trigger job. He's got a Romeo one on here, a SIG. We're, we're getting there. I'm using the Federal Black Pack, which I've come to the conclusion is just crap ammo. It doesn't group worth a crap. Um, I used some Gecko, and I'll show you it grouped really good. Gonna do another round here with the Federal. Kind of see where we're at. And this is, this is benching it, so this isn't how you shoot, but I want to zero it at 50. I want to see what kind of groups we can get out of this TK Tactical Kinetics barrel, and then we're going to switch back to the Glock. You know, that's, it's not too awful bad. I'm going to throw up some new paper. We're going to try some different ammo. I've started off with a Federal Black Pack. If you remember back, they were selling that super cheap. I'm starting to understand why. I think that ammo is complete. Um, we're over here. Okay, that was a group. And then I wanted to try some Gecko because I was all over the freaking place. So I tried some Gecko and that is actually a uh, you know, that's a pretty decent group. This is it, you know, 50 yards back there. Then I made a couple adjustments. And here, this is back to Federal Black Pack. I've made a couple more adjustments. And this is with the, T the TK barrel. And then we'll put up some new paper and swap out and go back to the Glock. Okay, I put up some new paper. I'm gonna do 10 round groups. I've got the Federal Black Pack 115 grain full metal jacket. 
Let's see what kind of group we get. Federal Black Pack. Like I said, it's complete and total. Here we go. Federal Black Pack. 50 yards. If I haven't said it before, I'm gonna say it again. That Federal Black Pack is crap. Let's try Gecko. Okay, we're gonna finish up here with Gecko. Gecko group tightened way up. Right here. That's our Gecko compared to the Federal. So I've had great luck with this Federal 147 grain. Let's just finish off with five shots and then we're gonna switch back to the Glock barrel. That didn't do any better, really, than the Gecko. Okay, so this TK barrel claims that they can shrink groups, improve accuracy like 20%. So we've got our Glock barrel back in here. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna do 10 shots Federal, and then we're gonna do 10 shots Gecko and five shots of the Federal 147 grain. Once again, Federal Black Pack does not let me down. That is a total crap group. So now we're gonna do Gecko Glock Barrel. Shorter barrel makes a difference. Boy, look at the group though. All right, Gecko. We got one flyer up here. Basically, that's our group with a gecko compared to my favorite, the Federal Black Pack. Let's try the 147 grain. So now we got the 147 grain. Let's see what it does. Let's take a look. We didn't have quite the luck that we did in the past with the 147. We've got one there, here. Down here, over here. Really not a whole lot better than the gecko. One, two, three, four, five. Overall, whoa, that's the, that's the Glock barrel. I'm not seeing a 10 or 20% reduction in our groups or increase in accuracy. That's the Glock barrel. So I got my Alpha Wolf barrel here. We're gonna give this a shot. We're gonna do. Federal Black Pack. Uh, that's not too bad. So now we're going with the Gecko. Take a look. Gecko. Yeah, didn't really fare super well here. And last, five rounds of the 147 grain Federal. That actually wasn't too bad here. That's probably our smallest group yet. We had one, two, three, four, and five. So here's an AIM. I actually did a separate review on this. I thought, let's just go all out here. This is a threaded barrel. I think it was like 89 bucks off to check, but we're gonna do the same thing.
Well, that didn't turn out so good. I don't think I'm even going to draw around that. Ooh, ouch. The Federal definitely did not like that aim barrel. Let's try the gecko, or uh, hopefully the groups get back tighter or something. I don't know. That was, that was pretty awful. good either wow um i don't think i'm gonna be able to draw around that one either got a pan back here that's our gecko with the aim barrel let's try the 147 grain i'm gonna try the 147 grain got my pin here but it ain't real good here, two, three, four, and I can't even find five. Okay, that last group was so bad that I want to make sure something didn't happen with the optics or it's off or something. So I switched back to the KT barrel because we got a pretty decent group with that. And let's just double check here. Okay, well, yeah, the barrel was just that bad. Because um, our... we had one flyer down here, but. Overall, that was a pretty decent group. One, two. Okay, so we're all done shooting. I'm here in the office and I'm putting all the video together here. Let's take a look here at our targets and see the final verdict. When we look at the Glock, you know, yeah. But it's not horrible bad. Initially, I thought it was kind of bad. And then we go to the, the TK barrel, and it does shrink down. I don't know if it's shrinking down 20% or 10%, but definitely tightens up. We go to the Alpha Wolf, and actually, I kind of expected that one to be reigning supreme, and it's actually one of the wider out of the three. And then I go to the AIM Surplus, and that one was just all over the place. With the AIM Surplus, like I said, I did a review on that, and I thought it was a pretty decent barrel, but I did it up close. I did it like, you know, 20 yards, and it was in the winter, and I had my can on it, and it did okay. So bottom line here, I think the, the TK, if you need a threaded barrel, I personally, I would go with the TK. They had it at Brownells for $109 on sale. That's where my buddy got his. And I, I think he's going to be happy with it, you know. So anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, the results surprised me. Be sure to like, sub. Until next time, happy shooting, be safe.